challenger. That hasn't been much of a challenge for Chris Stocks tonight. He is doing everything right and trying to fill our sixth and final seat for our first million dollar qualifier. Remember back in week one, Michael Arena Coldclaw, she's a television presenter from Birmingham, England. She came here and uh, presented herself pretty well to the American public. You could say she made television history the first player ever to win in the Poker Dome, and she was our first qualifier for our first of six $50,000 million dollar qualifiers. So she'll be here next week, and she'll bring along a fellow by the name of Andrew Rogers, who just steamrolled everybody. In fact, what Chris Stocks is doing tonight reminds me a lot of what Andrew Rogers did. And Andrew Rogers plays in the same poker league as Helen Moorhead, who just left our table. He's going to be a force. John Bowman was our second Brit to uh, get a seat at our qualifying table. Bowman didn't look like he was going to do much business until the very end, but his guy got better and better as the tournament went on, and he wound up winning it. I think he's one of these guys who watched the first couple weeks of the Poker Dome, figured out that aggression pays dividends, and it worked for him. And then it was Marissa Chen. She lives right here in Las Vegas, and in fact, she does the taxes for a lot of poker players. So obviously she had a little bit of an edge coming in here and, uh, and won a very tough match. I think Marissa Chen actually won the toughest of our table so far. That was a really great half dozen players and, and she came out on top. She will be one of the favorites come next week. And uh, really, poker is very easy for Jason Wood, who was our qualifier last week. And the reason is he's really more involved in the World Cup than he is in poker, quite honestly. A great supporter of England. Very sad now. Of course, England lost to Portugal, but he won. Well, then he will have to take up the flag. And, you know, he'll have two other countrymen supporting him. I'm actually rooting for an American to take it down tonight because we need some representation. Well, the Aussies are getting it done tonight, though. So here is our table as it sits right now, looking ahead the next week. Marino Kolklop, Andrew Rogers, John Bowman, Marissa Chen, Jason Wood, and who will it be? Will it be Chris Stocks? He's got everything going right now. Chris Stocks right at the moment is in a situation where he can steamroller people. 182,000, he's already eliminated a couple of people. The most recent was John Crockett, Jim Crockett rather. Crockett went away and uh, he just didn't have much to play with all night long and right now he's standing next to Leanne Tweet. Leanne? That's right, Barry. Jim, you know, you were short stacked from the beginning. It seems like you just really couldn't get out of that hole. What happened to you tonight? I played a two seven that I shouldn't have. <laughs> And once I got short stacked, I was basically had my back up against the wall and just looking for the out. I made a little bit of advance. And then when I had the ace against the blinds, I just got unlucky and he called and had me beat. How was your speed poker challenge overall? Oh, I've enjoyed it tremendously. I've loved the experience. If I had an opportunity, I'd be back. All right. Well, good luck, Jim, in your future endeavors. And uh, hey, Barry, back over to you. All right. Thanks very much, Leanne, as he came from Kingsport, Tennessee. Chris Stocks, 182,000, almost three times that of Robert Brown. Paul Nimala at 55,000. Nimala, remember, we've said the most experienced player in this competition. But Stocks, yeah, he got a little bit lucky. But you know what? That's part of the game, isn't it? Yeah, and these two guys, Nimala and Brown, have a very interesting <sighs> dilemma ahead of them. Do they just try to fight each other and take on the big guy after one of them is gone? Or do they go right after the big dog, Chris Stocks, right now? And generally, in tournament play, you try to avoid the guy that can bust you. Well, they neither one taking on the big dog here. And Brown flops a big straight here. Oh, Nemo says he's all in. <laughs> Brown says, I call. Nemo, he is going to need running jacks. Boy, is he in trouble. He's going to need he's going to need running cards. He needs a jack seven to come or two sevens. Turn. On the turn. It is a spade. Brown has the best spade. And there is no way Nemo can win. Brown is going to take down this puck. Well, Brown has eliminated Nimala, and now we're down to head-to-head -to -head competition. Nimala just, for some reason, just decided I'm going all in right here. I'm drawing the line in the sand, and guess what? He got sand kicked on. We're kind of bad.